Oh, look at this weather. It's absolutely beautiful. Um, first time I've used that trailer, and uh, I must admit, I had to stop to tighten the ratchet straps. Um, I haven't sorted that trailer out yet, but knowing I was just going to tow it a mile, it doesn't really matter. Um, I've got another trailer I want to try out on it as well. Over there, you'll see Beachy Head. That is where we're heading. High tide's in about an hour, I think, or pretty much about now. So, um, seems only there, which is great. We can just put the boat on and off we go. But um, I'm going to get a move on. Right, guys, what a more pleasant experience it was with a trailer. Not having to pump it up, put the floor in. Um, I'm just shoving on some waders at the moment. I'm not going to, as soon as I get out there, I'm going to take them off. But when I'm getting in the water, it's still cold and I don't fancy getting in there cold. So I'm going to fling the waders on for now. Um, and then, as soon as we're out there, they're going to come off. Because uh, waders in the sea are uh, a bit of a disaster. Right, so what I'm doing now is I'm just, I've got the choke now. I'm just making sure the engine, getting the engine nice. Just warming up the engine, just very slowly. Welcome back to another mussel fishing video. Finally out on the water on the sieve again. What a beautiful day to be out. We've got a good chap over there. We're just sorting out. He's just sorting out his engine and I'm just warming mine up. We're going to go and try for some bass in a minute. Oh, I can't wait. Can you test? Very, very, very excited. You excited? Yeah, I'm buzzing. Oh. Buzzing, buzzing to be out again. To be fair, it's a lot flatter than it was last time I came out. So I do feel a lot better. Right. Let's go over to the mark in a minute. What are you doing? Um, no, 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 don't film this. This is um, just, just an oversight. No, nothing important to see here, guys and boys and girls. Oh. <laughs> Every time I come out with you, you forget. Whee! There we go. Yeah. All good. Get, get some speed up now. <laughs> right, let's turn the camera off and uh, get back to fishing. Ladies and gents, so we're, uh, so we're out of the sim again. We're headed to uh, a, a mark called The Ledge at Eastbourne. Oh, I don't mind giving the spot away because it's so well known. Um, and uh, the bass boat heading out, it just turns the camera around, so you'll see the bass boat. Oh yes. <laughs> so that boat there, we're basically gonna follow. Not in a horrible way, not on Navi's spot, but um, that's where he's going. He's gonna go for commercial bass fishing. And that's what we're doing. We're going to go out there and try and catch a bass today. Maybe even see a dolphin or two if we're very, very lucky. Did that last time I came to you. Yeah, I know. So, so we're out of a chap today. He's, just, he's I think he's got six horsepower, so I'm just going to wait for him to catch up. I'm just going to do test a little um, radio course. I do advise if you're taking anyone out on your own boat, it's really important just to run them through some safety stuff. Says me, waders still. I am going to take them off, um, but. Um, to be honest with you, I can take these off very quickly if needs to be. Yeah, it's up to me if I keep them on or not. But, but I, I'm advising you now, do not keep waders on. Uh, they are going to come off um, just very soon. And that, I'll probably do it after this video. So we're just going to run through a quick radio course with Tess. So I'm just telling her what, what she needs to do um, if anything needs to happen and she needs to get hold of anyone. So see on there, Tessa. Yeah. So the radio's turned on. Yeah. You've got it on at the moment. What channels? 16 and 6. Yeah. And what do you need to be on? if you need to create a mayday or a pan call. Six. No. 16. 16. 16 is the emergency channel, right? So right. there's an icon on the left-hand side, that little triangle. Yeah. Yeah, that flicks you through what? channels. Uh, and I said the triangle on the screen, on the oh, icon next to the numbers, yeah? Yeah. yeah. You can see those. Click, Click exit. Right, that moves it up, yeah? Right. Now you're, so now, now you're on 16. So if you were to broadcast, yeah. clicking that button there, holding yeah. down, it speaking, it broadcasts from 16. 16. But, we don't want to do that because we'll, we'll annoy everybody. Right, okay. So click exit again. That takes you down to channel six. So that's just We're a on general. Five now, so put it on six. Oh, you put it on five, did you? Yeah. Okay, fine. She's already worked out how to move channels up and down. <sighs> right, so in an emergency, yeah. you'd move you'd click exit and make sure that little left hand triangle is on the sixteen. On the 16. Okay. You'd hold broadcast yeah. and you'd go if it was an emergency, mayday, mayday, mayday. Thunderbird, 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 which is a vessel number, and then you just, you don't need to know anything else. Just tell them where you are, what's happened, and all that. All right? Yeah. 
Happy? Happy. Happy. Put it back on six now. Put it back on six. We don't accidentally want to chat to this channel 16. Right. Let's, let's carry on. Coast Guard. Over Coast Guard. Mayday. My Information God. number one. Vessel reported in difficulty. Possibly taking on water. Okay. In approximate position, five zero degrees. Five three decimal four minutes north. So just like that, I was just going through the Mayday call with Tess. One's popped up. That's uh, the immigrants coming over the channel, um, and they're taking on water. So there's possibly going to be deaths out there because the UK government can't get hold of a hand of it. Unbelievable. Cold already. Put one of my hoodies on. Um, hopefully she'll be warmer. Um, I don't know why she doesn't think let me put those clothes on and I can take that off as I go, but... Because it was warm when we were on the beach. Well, actually, it started out quite warm and now it's got cold. No, it'll be fine. The problem with coming with women, I find, generally, not, not all the time, just some of the time, you get less fishing done and uh, more moaning done. But um, I'm going to put Tess down in the centre down there. That'll warm her up a bit and it'll... Uh, Keep the boat nice and I'm going to be able to get this in line. This. You shouldn't really. You should take that off first. And then oh, go. you didn't tell me that. I'm gonna have to go back. I'll, I'll get back to you when we're fishing. Smashed out here, yeah, though. Oh yeah. Well, you won't be in front of me. Oh. Well, the wind's picking up now. Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, you're gonna get wet. It's like it's raining. So we're at our bass mark, we're just setting up the drift. We're, Mrs. is cold, having a little moan. We're just sorting our boat out, getting ourselves sorted. Seen a couple of dolphins, so we're both happy. Wow. Well, I saw, saw them, them. Tess didn't. You were Ho hopefully, you we'll, hopefully we'll see them again. Um, and hopefully we'll get a bass or two, just for a bit of fun. Today was more about getting the boat out, just running it in, running the engine, making sure it's all all right. So that's what's important. Right, let's set the drift up perfectly and see if we can get a bass. There you go, boys, we're in. We're oh, in, this, so is, a, free, this is a nice in. bass. This is gonna be a nice bass. On the retrieve, on the ledge. Typical, isn't it? Halfway through, put my sock on. And then you get a bite. Gonna need the net in a bit, I'll tell you when, Tess. It doesn't, it doesn't feel bassy, it's, it's not as... Uh, it's, it's heavy, but it's, I don't know. Could it be a cod, I don't know. I'm not sure. Got to be got a bit, there's so many boats around. You've got to be a bit careful as to show them what's going on because otherwise they'll all want your drift line. I've not even got a sonar and I know this like the back of my heart back here now. I've done a lot of work oh, here man. this year. Back of my hand, yeah. <laughs> um, oh, that was good. That was that was mid. I might mid column. That might even be a pollock. Something like test, net, net, test, net, test. I'm film the oh, bass. Look here. No, oh, beautiful bass. You see it? Get the, get, yeah, get the shot. Yeah, I see it. Get that shot. Oh, look at that. Oh, shit. Sure. It's gone under the boat. It's all right, it's all right. I'll let it. Let it just, let it do its thing. It's quite a nice bass, this is. Oh, he's diving under. I'm not going to rush it. I'm just going to let him in. Now he knows. Now he knows he's hooked. He's uh, sod this. He's back. Oh God, he's putting up a great fight now. I wonder if Tess can uh, net and film at the same time. No, probably, probably not. not. Unless you want the GoPro in the water. No, no, I don't want the it's GoPro probably in the water. not a good idea. God, he's about four pounds. He's lovely. Get that shot. Get that shot, Tess. Yes. Well done. Well done, Tess. Well done. <laughs> Bass for dinner. Look at that. Yeah, that's a nice dinner. There you go, lads. Lovely, beautiful bass on a beautiful April, mid-April day. We've got charter boats all around us and they won't be happy that we're here. But uh, tough, quite frankly. Right, I was going to reset the drift and try for another one. He's coming over to dinner. Look at that mouth. Lovely, right. 
Right, so we just reset our drift. There's so many bass down there, they're just knocking at it. I've not got the sonar uh, on this boat yet. I just need to sort that out. But um, Navionics is pretty good and you've got loads of other boats here because it's a commercial bass ledge uh, where they're all bass fishing. Loads and loads of knocks. They're just nipping it, they're not quite... Oh, oh that was... They're just nipping it, they're just nipping it. Let's do a little retrieve. Oh, look, 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 there you go. Oh, it, another one went for it. Maybe a fast retrieve, slow retrieve. Just got to try and work it out. One thing about fishing with so many boats around, you've got to be so careful and your wits about you um, as to where's going where, because they don't they don't like sibs. Most fishermen, boat fishermen, um, and I can understand it to a degree. You know, it's a commercial area; it's their living. And if you come and don't know what you're doing and you're putting your engine right over the ledge and getting in their way, it's annoying. I get it, but I'm ho hopefully um, I've been you know I've been, tried to be good today and not annoy anyone. Right, one more bass, that'd be great, because that'd be our limit. And then we can go and have a look for some dolphins, possibly. Or maybe even a wreck, but I think that probably has to do it another day. I was eating a bit of chicken. And, um... I don't know if... We're not, I don't know on the bottom, because I'm gaining... I'm gaining some on it. But I can't see it prod him. I have a feeling it's a rockfish. What the hell is a rockfish? It's a rock. Oh, just a rock. Just a rock. <laughs> Oh shit. Do you need to hold the chicken? Oh, hold the chicken. Whatever it is, I don't know. Oh, it pulled back there, I think. Could be someone's anchor. Someone's Ooh. anchor? It's actually quite exciting, because it could actually literally be anything. What do you think it is? Honestly? Your gut a rock. instinct. A rock. Yeah, I reckon it's caught on the hook and we've picked it off the reef. But we're in the hole, so I don't know why it's we're on sand at the moment. We'll... Oh. Oh. You saw this first on muscle fishing boys. Oh, it's come off. Whatever it was, it's come off. Oh, you'll never know. Let's see what we've got left. We'll never know. No, that's a shame. Uh, we will know. We will know. A rock. It's a rock. Well, it's a sea urchin. Ugh. So what's happened is that urchin was attached to a rock. I said a rockfish. And then the sea urchin has come off the rock and left us. There we go. You don't want to keep that then. Right. Take it home for dinner. Not particularly. Right, let's get down there to and get bass. Right, so we just um, set up another drift. We've got about two drifts left before, unfortunately, we've got to go in because Tess has got to go to work, well, go to work to collect some stuff. Um, to be honest with you, it was more of a day to get out, make sure the sib's working, it's all nice and all right still after the winter break. Um, and just really, just come out with some lures. I mean, we've got no, I did bring some bait just in case. Um, but uh, yeah, four hours, out, four hours out in the water, for me isn't enough, but... Um, I better try and keep the other arms. More maybe. than enough. But uh, yeah, just a mixture of, we've had a few, loads of tugs today. They're not quite committed. Um, but then we had that lovely sort of three and a half pound bass. That was really nice. And a nice rockfish. Uh, oh, and a rockfish, yeah, which come off and a sea urchin. So we're doing all right. Right, well, unfortunately, uh, the other half has got to uh, get to work. Off. And um, <laughs> yeah, and reach the end of her tether. That's exactly it. Um, but it's, do you know what? It's actually been lovely. We've, we've managed to get the boat out ourselves without any help getting it onto the beach and stuff like that. Um, but we're going to go back now. We've, it's half one. We've had four hours um, not fishing. We've had two hours fishing. Um, probably about what, one and a half hours proper fishing, I would say. Yeah. Like getting on the drift and stuff. The boats are all, bass boats are all buggered off apart from three. So. But we had a nice bass. We had one sort of three and a half pound bass. So happy days. So thank you for joining us on the Muscle Fishing Channel. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this sib episode. We'll get a lot more better fish on this sib. It's just um, at the moment, we've just come out for a little bit of a, a, a run in uh, just to make sure everything's all good um, after the winter. So I've got about five miles to go. So I'm going to say goodbye to you. Uh, thank you very much. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, I wish us a safe return. Cheers. Cheers.